Good evening, viewers. Um, hello. Uh, this lovely little thing arrived in the mail this morning. Uh, so this is the second uh, tank that I ordered for our memorial build for Abby and Kev. Um, if you haven't seen many of my other videos or any of my my uh, clubmates videos, we had a couple of colleagues in our club, lovely people, uh, who unfortunately both passed away, the husband and wife, uh, Abby and Kevin. So we are doing a memorial build in their honour, uh, also to promote uh, mental health as well. Um, so I'm not an armour builder, I build aeroplanes, but I decided to have a quick go at a couple of tanks. This is the second one I bought it from off the internet from Mr. Mr. Friendly Delivery Man from Amazon. Um, came this morning, so uh, it's a very inexpensive kit, it only cost, I think it was 12, 13 pounds, something like that, just under 13 pounds, brand new, so I'm not expecting anything too great, but uh, again, like I said, I'm not an armour builder, so I don't want to spend an awful lot of money on something that I uh, then make a mess of anyway, so uh, let's take a look at what's in the box, this is the uh, Tamiya 135th scale M41 Walker Bulldog, don't know much about tanks, it's a tank, it's got tracks, it's got a big gun, that's all I need. So uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, the usual uh, bit of gump that you get with it. Teaching you how to model I guess if you've never modelled before. So I'm not that much of a, uh, a noob, I need that, let's put that to one side. We have uh, like we've got two instruction books, one in Japanese, as you can see, one in English. I will go for the English one, as you can imagine. Uh, there really isn't much to this, it's literally uh, three pages, pages four out pages. Um, seems to be reasonably well drawn. Nice explanation. There's some pictures of the actual, the actual vehicle as well, which is a bit unusual for a, uh, for a set of instructions. Um, yeah, I can't really complain about that. Like I said, this was a very cheap kit, so I am not expecting anything particularly. Uh, if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. So, got a bit of a description of the tank, uh, of its history, what it was, what it was used for. Shooting of the tanks, I would imagine. Um, I'll take a look at that when I build it. So onto the kit, straight away. Rubber tracks equals a happy car, happy builder. Yep, I do not want to be putting together track links. I realise they may look a bit better, but by far the preference, if you ask me. Let's put those over there. This okay, so is what have we got. Be the top section of the tank doesn't come attached to a screw, a sprue. Sorry, not a screw, a sprue. Seems to be reasonably well molded. It is Tamiya after all. That's what you'd expect. A reasonable amount of detail for a tank, um, particularly for a cheap, cheap tank. So uh, yeah, um, looks good. It's, it's that uh, hard, rigid plastic you get in the older kits. That's okay with me. Second little sprue uh, looks to be the turret. Uh, I guess we're gonna bend that over. Attach that like here, something along those lines. Again, it is not, uh, not incredibly detailed, but there's enough detail there that I'm not gonna be upset about it. Looks good. As, it, it, as with all Tamiya kits, it looks to be nicely molded. Put up this pipe. So it's the uh, body of the tank. Seems to be uh, pretty nicely done again. Lots of detail on there, really. More often than not, you just get a. Uh, you don't get. You don't. You normally get these little leg. Or not in my. I say that. I say normally. Like I've built many tanks. I've only built one before. So. I don't really know what normally means, um, but I haven't seen one with this much detail on the bottom before. I like that. 
I'm sure I'm going to have fun attaching wheels to there at some point. Through here, and this one looks uh, a little bit. It's not. I won't call it bad, but it, you can just see it's quite an old. I mean, you know, in fact, it's dated. So it's 1973. So it's not a new kit by any stretch of the imagination. There's some very, very fine flash along the outside of it. Uh, a lot on some of the pieces, but nothing that you can't get rid of very quickly, very easily. Um, so what have we got there? We've got the. Uh, Handles for the for the um, side of the tank to, to climb up. We got the barrel. Got a machine gun. Got, looks like a fuel tank. Um, the uh, tools from the side of the side of the vehicle. Some little bits and pieces. Some uh, jerry cans. Okay. Wheels. Lots of wheels. And more wheels, like you to get with any any tank. Nothing to get too excited about, but uh, yeah, they all look pretty nicely done. Let's put those down. Little decal sheet. You don't expect many with a uh, <coughs> excuse me with a tank, do you? But that's about all you can really hope to get. So uh, yeah, happy with that. They. Will probably be too thick, like like to me it's like to me a decals usually are. But we'll see. They're quite old obviously. So uh, oddly enough oddly enough the uh, the logo on the Tamiya sign there is nineteen seventy five but the moulding of the kit is nineteen seventy three. So I wonder if this is actually uh, not a Tamiya kit originally. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I know the answer to that question. If anybody wants to let me know, I'd be curious to know. Is, is this a is this a rebox of a of a much older kit from another company? That'd be great to know. pieces that I guess are going to be um, bearings for the wheels keep them all an even even distance from the fuselage that's cool and then we've got a couple of figures three figures <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm not gonna lie I think I've said this before I don't normally paint figures with my kids but these these seem actually pretty decently detailed so I, I might give them a go I'm not sure <coughs> right, and that's it. Uh, there's the Tamiya M41 Walker Bulldog in 135th scale. So uh, I, I think it probably will, will. This this might be the uh, the one that I do first of the tanks I bought. So I'm sure I'll make a uh, a build video for this at some point when I get around to doing it. It won't be too long, I don't think. So I hope you enjoyed that. And just a quick little quick little view of the kit uh, I'm going to post a lot more of this sort of stuff over the next few months uh, I'm going to try and get the, you know, the modeling builds to be quite a regular thing going forward so please feel free to subscribe uh, I'd love to hear from you if you've got any comments any questions anything you want to know not that I'm even remotely close to a font of information but if I can uh, if I can share the little bit of light on a question you've got I'll do my best thanks for listening uh, have a good day Evening, stroke, whatever it is.